Hi everyone, this is Leisha. I'm back again with a video on my vegan journey. I am so excited because um, I'm still new and it's still new to me and I, it hasn't gotten old. I haven't gotten tired of being vegan. I haven't gotten tired of the recipes or finding different recipes. I'm, I haven't gotten tired. I am enjoying this journey. Um, and I encourage anyone who wants to step out there, try it, research first and see you know what it's about what you want to do but um i don't follow a particular like i don't follow dr Sadie. i don't follow the alkaline i don't follow the raw i kind of incorporate me it's, it's it's me it's what um what works best for me and that's what you need to find out what works best for you because one of the things that i was looking into it when i was going into it everybody was like oh you're gonna become vegan it's gonna be so expensive da, 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 da. i mean at first i was getting fearful about becoming vegan because i was like can i afford it but i realized that i have to work within my budget what works best for me and i've shared this before i don't um i don't buy all organic vegetables or or all organic fruits i will buy them but i will buy them when they're on sale i will not buy it all the time and i don't need to buy a lot of foods like the vegetables and stuff because every week i might pick my main vegetable every week is a green i'm gonna get a collard green mustard and turnip green i'm gonna get cabbage i'm gonna get kale i'm always gonna have a green that's gonna be like my main vegetable through the whole through that whole week that's what i'm gonna eat on and then i have other things i may pair with it or I may create something else but i am gonna have that particular green i may buy sweet potatoes one week and then another week i might buy some other potatoes in idaho or russet potatoes and make something different with that um other weeks i may buy okra so it depends but the main vegetable that i buy is always going to be a green i just love greens and i love and i have stopped put meat in my greens years ago so it was easy for me to incorporate it uh, more to make them vegan so I enjoy making the cabbage the fried and some other cabbage I, or I make some stir fried collard greens so it's different things that I make so I like I said I always do the greens and I find that I'm not spending as much as I did when I was buying meat I'm still my average take and I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say this is when I go to the grocery store it's usually under twenty five dollars under twenty five dollars um, a lot of stuff I don't have to buy a lot of because I still have it I don't have to replenish it so mostly when I'm going to the grocery store I'm replenishing like my almond milk or my you know soy milk stuff like that sometimes my the butters that I use um, but I use those sparingly so they last a little bit longer because the butters are expensive um, but country crock does have one out now so it's running about um, $2.99, $3.99, but I like Earth Balance, which is like $4.59 at some, you know, depending on where you go. So um, those are like the things that I have to replace on a more regular basis, but I still have like flaxseed meal, I still have my chai seeds, I still have quinoa, I still have like my different, pa the pastas that I can eat, stuff to make sauces, you know, I still have all that. And um, dry beans still got plenty of those so i use them for different recipes canned um chickpeas and dry chickpeas so i don't have to continuously to buy so i don't spend as much and like i do eat salad so i might buy a cucumber and a couple of tomatoes but i don't buy to waste because vegetables now i don't care if they're organic or if they just the regular vegetables they go bad so fast so I try to buy things that I can eat within a timely manner. So I'm already preparing. When I go to the grocery store, I'm already having my head what I'm going to be making that week. And by me making it, a lot of times I make enough for at least two meals so that I'm not just cooking every day. Even though I love to cook, I'll cook every day. But I try to cut down on the cooking and just make enough to make two meals. And sometimes I'm able to stretch it to maybe three meals. So then that becomes part of my meal prep. So once again, you have to choose what works best for you and what works best for your budget. I just wanted to make this as easy as it can because I don't want to set myself up for failure. That's what I looked at. If I went out here and started buying all organic 
when I first started or following different things, I probably would have set myself up for failure because I wouldn't have been able to keep up with it. I wouldn't be able to uh, continue to pay the, um, for the organic vegetables or the different things that you need to to make some of the stuff. And I, I just wouldn't have been able to do it. So I had to work within my comfort zone. So what I encourage you to do when you decide to become vegan, decide what it, what it is you want to do. I mean, look at your budget. If you want to follow um, being alkaline or raw vegan or Dr. Shady, whatever it is that you want to do, look it up, research it, look into it. Just, just make it your own. Don't necessarily have to follow everything so just just like you have to follow it to the letter you have to make it your own that's what i even tell people when they look at my videos um when they look at my cooking videos make it your own when you find a recipe make it your own make this your own journey because we all of us are different we all got different personalities we got all different type of social economic um backgrounds we educational background everything that we're coming in and bringing that so bring in you let this be about you what works best for you and last time i did the video i was the next day I was having my doctor's appointment and I said one thing in these videos I wanted to be transparent so I can share with you the things that are going on um, good, bad, indifferent. I just wanted to share with you so I'm excited because my last checkup which was July 15th I was down another six pounds so I've lost a total of 21 pounds since I started actually started um, January 7th is when I became vegetarian but I came became vegan March 14th so I've lost a total of 21 pounds I'll say from January so I'm excited about that my a1c which is what they look at to test to see your sugar your blood sugar blood sugar levels and stuff it was down it was down from um, it was 6.4 down from 6.7 my blood pressure was great so I was excited about that so when people ask me do I see a change or feel a change yes I do I feel um, like I have more energy in the morning time because I'm a morning person so I get up pretty early in the morning and when I get up I'm not like dragging trying to get myself started I am getting up getting started um, I started exercising more now, so I'm doing exercises in the morning. I'm doing my daily um, Bible lessons in the morning. So I'm doing all that because I, I know that I'm more productive in the morning when I'm doing stuff like that. And then I start to dip my day doing the other things I need to do. But I just want to encourage you to continue to seek out what it is that you're trying to do. What is your why? Once you understand what your why is, then this journey becomes a lot easier. It won't be so cumbersome. But you got to know why you're doing it. If you're doing it for health, then let that be your why. If you're doing it because you of uh, the animals, let that be your why or the environment. Whatever your why is, let that be the driving force for you to keep moving forward. But you have to do it. The, the way that works best for you now I do want to share with you some of the things like um, when it comes to B12 I encourage you if your doctor if you can ask your doctor if you start this vegan journey um, ask your doctor to check your B12 levels because a lot of times with um, the vitamin B12 we do lose that because a lot of that comes from us not eating meat and eggs and dairy which has like the um, B12 in it so you may have to take a B12 um, supplements. There are um, there are pills and chewables, and there is a liquid B12. But once again, talk to your doctor, see what's going on with your B12, and then make a decision which way you want to do. If you want to swallow a pill, chew a pill, if you want to drink a liquid, you need to figure that out. Um, decide what works best for you. Um, vitamin D. Um, you can take a supplement. Um, I'm taking a vitamin D supplement, but it had nothing to do with me being vegan. It's just that I live in a state where there's not a, I don't get a lot of sunlight, and um, but I am eating more vegetables that include the vitamin D. Calcium is pretty good. I don't have to worry about calcium deficiency because a lot of the leafy vegetables and your um, tahini and uh, rice or soy, soy or juice beverages have calcium in it so you can um so that should be fine and also um with the vitamin d you can drink juices and um there's some um vegan drinks that are fortified with vitamin d so you can search those out if vitamin d is a deficiency of yours 
I just know it's mine and it was really, really bad and she had to put me on some vitamin D um, pills. But other things that I noticed, like, um, I don't know if you can see my nails. My nails are like growing like super fast. I cut them like every week and I and I um, I usually cut them by now because I don't like to see food up under my nails. So my nails usually don't stay this length, not even this length. I usually cut it down. But I noticed that my nails grow a lot faster. They are a lot stronger. I mean, they are really, really hard. So I noticed that my nails are... Um, my nail beds, I don't have like the dry, you know, the cuticles are all cracked and stuff. So my nails, I noticed that my nails are different. My skin has been clearing up. I haven't had any major breakouts or anything. Um, so my skin is um, fine. It's like, and I think, like I said, it has a lot to do with, um, um, you know, drinking plenty of water and stuff like that. And I don't use a lot of makeup, so I stop wearing makeup. I don't even wear makeup outside of lip gloss. And um, so, um, but you have to do what works best for you. And I just want to encourage you that try it. If you want to step out there and try it, you have any questions, I will share with you. I will be honest with you. Is it always easy? No. Um, but I am excited because I'm always coming up with different recipes. That's what I love about being on this vegan journey is that the recipes that I can come up with or I look at, I'm like, wow, I can do this or I can make this and I can turn this into this. I just made um, some meatloaf out of mushrooms. Amazing. It, it looked just like meatloaf. Um, the mushrooms give you that meat you know, taste, that texture that you want. And I made some gravy and put that over it. So, and it was really good. And um, I made some jackfruit um, nachos. So I'm using the different um, vegetables and fruits and stuff to make different types of meals and trying, trying them different ways. So it's exciting. And then also you got all the colors when you use all the different color peppers and all the different color um greens all that stuff it just gives you just gives your um uh, foods your plate just look like this artistic uh creation because you're using all these different colors and one of the other things i believe i shared in other videos that i don't buy like dressings anymore like ranch dressing or thousand island dressing or even um vinaigrettes i make my own so and that's that is exciting too because you can make it your own you can add your own ingredients you can you can find a base recipe and just add what you want um today i made a um lime and olive oil dressing and i added ginger to it and jalapeno peppers and garlic and just um a tap of salt and some white pepper it was amazing and i put that on some kale just some fresh kale and just toss it with kale and carrots and just toss it together just simply amazing it's so many different simple recipes you can make and you can do it without breaking the budget um there's so many youtube videos out there where you can see people shopping at aldi's and the dollar tree and it might be some other dollar stores and other stores where they can tell you and show you where um you can buy some get some really good bargains and stuff i mean you can go to dollar tree and find some really good things you can go um to aldi's all these got their own line now of vegan products so you can go there and I guess sometimes the products are not in all the stores you know so you it's kind of like hit or miss as far as the variety of products but I seen where they got um the um what you call that stuff um the pastas um the raviolis they have that with artichokes in it at different stores. Some of the stores have the butter. Some of the stores have additional cheeses. And um, it was something else that they had that I haven't seen in the, all these in Michigan, in the Michigan area where I'm at. I haven't seen in there. But so what I'm seeing and what I want to encourage you to do, if you want to step out there and try it, try it. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Give yourself 30 days just trying just step out for 30 days try being vegan for 30 days just give it the meat the cheese the dairy and just see what happens and then just experiment just start doing things creating things i mean it's so much you can create and do and make with beans that i even think you can make um 
you make like tuna salad using chickpeas and chickpea burgers and, and, and chickpea burgers a lot of times remind me of salmon croquettes and I have used tofu to make salmon croquettes and I learned how to you know use the seaweed to make it taste more fishy I mean it's so many things you can do so don't feel like you're limited and you can only eat this you can only just buy some frozen vegetables and that's all you can eat no experiment there's so many things out there now and um i can't even be in a, imagine being a vegan 20 years ago because what we have now compared to what some of these um vegans those trailblazers that was out there doing this long before we had all this all this processed stuff and all these burgers and chicken and all this other stuff they was out there doing it and my hats off to them but we got it so easy now so to become vegan is not something that can be cumbersome and if you worried about the cost sit down and see what your budget is and see what you want to do and see um what you can afford and how you want to do it you got to figure out how you want to do it and and that when i figured out what was best for me what everybody was saying is going to be costly and da, da, da. it's not i found that like i said if i spend 25 dollars, i would be surprised with the stuff that i buy and like i said i don't buy a lot of processed foods so i don't be buying a lot of the burgers or the chicken patties and the bacon and the sausage i don't do a lot of that so um that doesn't boost up my budget i buy mostly fruits and vegetables if those and like i said i only buy what i need because i don't believe in waste and i don't want to buy stuff that will perish really really fast because this stuff don't last it, it don't last and so you gotta when you get it you gotta hit it you gotta eat it you gotta move you can't let it sit there for two weeks and think you're gonna go in there and find it all fresh okay so just give it a try give yourself 30 days if you don't do 30 days do seven days but just try it and see you know how it works out for you i think you would enjoy it so listen i just wanted to share this time with you i just wanted to give you a um a update of what's going on so i will see you next month listen subscribe to my channel is cooking without measure so i hope you have a wonderful and blessed evening so be blessed and more importantly be a blessing bye for now